Yo, what is up everybody? Welcome back to another video. Today, it's going to be a thumbnail tutorial and I'm not going to be teaching you guys. So make sure you skip like 10 more seconds into the video because Justin Auto is going to be showing you guys. Make sure you go subscribe to him. He has made a new channel, his other channel. Uh, he deleted it. So make sure you go show him some love. Go comment on his new video, hashtag Tempo sent you. Uh, and that will have a chance of you getting a collab with me. So make sure you do that guys. His link will be down below. Go sub to him. And yeah, let's start this thumbnail tutorial. <laughs> What is going on guys, my name is Justin Orta and welcome to another video on the Justin Orta channel guys. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a sick, clean and simple thumbnail for YouTube. For anything you guys want, for gaming, tutorials, how to's, for anything guys, literally anything. So guys, without further ado, let's just get right into this tutorial. So first guys, you want to make a new image with 1280 by 720 resolution 72 and you'll get this image basically. And if you don't, you get a white background, just delete the white background. So now that we have this white image, we have to go to Google and we have to search up, um, you know, we have to search up an image we want in the background. So usually what I search up is I look up Overwatch because honestly, they have some of the best um, backgrounds. So we're going to go into images and what we're going to do is I'm going to go to tools, the size, and I want it exactly 1280 by 720. Now the only reason I'm doing this is so I can get a pretty nice, good quality image to start off. So um, let's see, Orisa. That's an okay image. Okay, we'll do this May one. So what you want to do once you get your image is right click, copy image, go back to Photoshop, and then Control V the image in. Now that you have the image in, do Control T. And now this is where you get these little highlights around the box. Hold Shift and Alt, and you know just position the image in the way you want. I'm making it a little bit bigger because the effects we're gonna do is gonna have to be a little bit bigger than the outline. So we're gonna do something like that. And next, all we want to do is we want to add some of the lighting effects. So, come up here to brightness and contrast, and just play around with these settings. I like to have it a little bit brighter and a little bit darker in the darks. And then for levels or curves, just push this up a little bit and pull this down, and gives it a really nice effect. Now, guys, what you want to do is go down to this little yin yang circle, click that, click gradient map, and here is your gradient map. So go into the first color. And then turn the color code, this will be down in the description, to, to 202233. Once you have that guys, go choose any color you want. So I, I suggest something like this kind of color. It's like not really the darkest, but not really the lightest. So go in somewhere in between kind of, pick any color you guys want. For this, um, I, I'm really thinking red. So we're gonna do red, okay, and bam. So now that we're done with that, what you want to do is control J on the original image, which that will duplicate the layer. Then go to filter, go to pixelate, go to mosaic, and then turn this up a little bit, not that much, press OK. After that, go to filter, stylize, find edges. Same image, control I. Now that you guys got this image right here, go up to your blending mode and turn it to color dodge. Now that we have this awesome effect right here, we we'll want to add a little bit more. So guys, go to the original image, go to filter, go to render, go to lighting effects. And then we put the lighting effects in the middle, which makes it look pretty nice. Um, you guys can mess with these settings. Um, so I'm going to put it like right there, turn the intensity up a little bit and just move it to wherever you would like to scale the width, scale the length. So we'll to put it like maybe right here. That looks good to me. Once you're done, press OK. And now that we have the base image done, we gotta add a little bit more lighting because it doesn't look as good as it does right now. So we wanna add a new layer on top of the gradient map and go up and get your paintbrush. What I like to do is I like to do a little bit of dark, I would like to do a black line underneath. And if you guys do not like to do the black line, do a 202233 and do the original color uh, underline, which actually looks a little bit better than the black, I'm not gonna lie. So we're gonna switch this and bam. So it's all up to you guys, it's all preference, so we're just going to do that one. And then the second one, add a new layer, and then get your white paintbrush, turn it up a little bit, and then just add a little speck above it. Just a little thing, you know, a little bit of haze, like that. Now that we all have this and it looks really nice, what you want to do is go to File, and then I will have this image down below. I'm just going to place this file that I got, it's this stripe background. So guys, it's this colored well, lines wallpaper right here. 
So I'll put this down in the description in a media fire link. You guys can go download this. And basically this image is really nice for, you know, just kind of adding a little bit more effect. So I put this under all the brightness, the curves and everything because we want it to be red. Then turn it to screen. And then this gives it that nice line effect, which looks pretty, pretty nice. I'm not going to lie. Now, we're going to go just above the gradient map and we're going to start adding our text layer. So the first text I want you guys to have, these two links will be down below. The first part we're going to be using is going to be called Endless Boss Battle right here. So we're going to use this. And I'm just going to call this a thumbnail tutorial. So we're just going to do thumbnail for the first word. Do usually your first kind of sentence or word in the first top of the uh, basically lettering. And make the top one white, okay? Uh, you can always change that by just going up here to the text tool, highlighting it, and changing the color right here. Just make the first one right, well, white. So once you guys have that, you want to put it in the center. And then you guys want to add your effects to it. So I'm going to right click on it, blending options. Then we want to go to gradient map, turn the opacity to 25. Add a drop shadow. This can be messed with. I just do a little bit bigger size, something like that. Inner glow, turn the color to white, and then go to blend mode, color dodge. And you guys can usually just mess with these settings, you know, change the opacity, the choke, and uh, yeah, I kind of like that. And that's basically it for the first part of the text, all right? So we're, we're done, we're done with that. We want the second part. So I'm gonna add text tool. And then the second font we need is the bold font, which is right here. And I'm going to call this tutorial. So, tutorial. So, now that we have the second text as tutorial, we want to size this up to about there. You can want to make it usually a little bit bigger than the top text. All right. And then for this one, you want it to be almost exactly the same color as the background. So, we're just going to add that. And you guys also color that background as well. You can also get that. Uh, that seems about the same and then just for thumbnail copy a layer style and place it on the tutorial one and there you go then now we want to have now that we have this what we want to do is we want to mess with the text because that's what we kind of need to do right now so we're gonna get the thumbnail part we're gonna show that uh, control T show transform controls and kind of just mess with the size of these uh, make it a little bit smaller than that um, that seems good right there and then grab the other one size it up Put it in the middle of the screen. And that seems nice. And so there we go. Thumbnail tutorial. And then guys, you can always add stuff on top of it. Like um, you can always add um, another brightness. You can turn the brightness up for this and turn the contrast up a little bit more. Turn the brightness down. So something like this. You guys can always mess with more effects. But this is kind of the baseline. There's one more thing you could do for a little bit more effects is to get your paintbrush out. Turn down the little uh, paintbrush uh, icon and get the white paintbrush and just kind of go around, you know, dab in little spots everywhere. Once you're done with that, just put an overlay on. And, oops. Overlay. You can put that over the text. What I would like to do is just put it under the text and uh, you get a really, really nice effect. Anyway, guys, if you guys did enjoy this video, make sure to hit that like button down below. If we do reach 20 likes on this video, I will put this thumbnail tutorial and link down below. So, guys, thank you for watching this video. If you guys did, again, 25 likes on this video and 20 likes for releasing the link. Thank you guys for watching. As always. Bye.